Yeah, we're in Indiana, woo! Shortest video ever. Made it here. Mall's over here. Don't know where we're gonna eat yet, but it's got time to do. Yeah. So, more later. So, sadly, right here in the mall is where the Sears used to be. I totally forgot that that's what it was until I came up the escalator and went, <gasps> sad. But yeah, here's the food court. Had me some chief away. Though that boba tea over there, it was calling my name for a minute. Eh, and maybe next time. It's uh, the end of Wednesday. I'm really tired. People are walking around, which is nice. Sorry. People are already looking at me funny. <laughs> but uh, I've gotten probably 10 or more compliments on my hat. So, yeah, yeah, that's cool. Uh, rained, well, sprinkled a little bit. That was kind of refreshing, being, standing outside. But, uh, one thing I was able to do before uh, training started, the other one, eh, not so much, but it's okay. Hopefully, we'll figure it out in the morning. Uh, yeah, got to got to look at the mall, and you saw a touch of that earlier, but only a touch. Sorry, I didn't get around more. Maybe, maybe later this weekend. We'll see. Uh, I think I've just this is probably like I really have to think about this now. Um, ooh, like my eleventh, eleventh Gen Con, maybe. So, it's grown quite a bit since I started, and my seventh year with, uh, with True Dungeon, so, excited about that. I got my, got my little volunteer thing, so, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, sorry, I'm, keep throwing it off, but, uh, trying not to look too awkward in front of everybody. It's already awkward. It's already awkward. <laughs> it's, uh, we're inside. Wednesday, people walking around, I can barely believe it, I mean, I realize that pre-convention stuff you're going to, oh, crap, books, anything? Ugh. Ooh, it's a lot smaller than it used to be. Okay, back to walking. Looks like there's some stuff going on already. Shows you what I know. This is exciting, though. Do do do. I mean, for those of you that are into this sort of thing, like myself, I got like dividers over here. That's sort of interesting. So much. But it's minimal Yeah, so this way is the section. I think they they like added this, I think. If I recall, some years ago to make it bigger. So this part coming up here is in the old section. <sighs> And it's changed, changed so much over the years. But yeah, I'm going towards Will Call to get my coupon book and a bag, I guess. If they still got them, anyways. <sighs> oh, look at the doggy! So cute! Sure, why not? People. People that could be my friend. Ah, they're too they're too wrapped up. But the things that they're doing here. So curious. But anyways, oh looks like they're doing uh they're doing the Pokemans over here. Hmm. Okay. And uh, more stuff down that hallway. 
know if I'll get to do anything. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh. Never has been. Oh. This is a line for something. It might be the badges. That'd be my guess. So yeah, bypasses. I think not the well, I meant the will call section, but I'm actually going towards the end. That seems right. Anyways, that's it for now. Hey, me walking again. Found out. Well, I got a coupon book, but they just recently ran out of the bags. It's okay. I don't need another bag. I don't need another bag. I don't need another bag. It's quiet up here. Everybody's downstairs. It's cool, right? Right? I don't know. Maybe. Did spot. Just buy a Sailor Moon bag from like 20 feet away. <laughs> That's uh, just like me. <laughs> so there's that. Ooh, fancy. Fancy wheelchair. Chair of wheels. Okay. Yeah, I know, lots of little clips, but eh, what you gonna do? I'll do, I'll do a lot. So. We got the party kicking outside. We got them setting up card stuff down there. Like, how cool is that? Got some cool, huge game stuff over there. A huge magic sign over there. Can't believe it's that old. And uh, exhibitor hall. We'll be all down here. It's gonna look very different in the morning. So a little, my guess is pollen filled view of the city. About to head back over to the hotel. Got a nice view right here. A few people walking around. Luckily for me, I was looking around and somebody had abandoned their bag. Guess it was fated to be. I also picked up a couple in cards. One is for shipping, which is kind of cool. One's for a figure coming out later, I guess. So cool! So then, uh, the coolest part of staying at this hotel is it actually runs through the train station. But these ones, they've actually converted to rooms, I believe. I think that's so cool. <laughs> Never gotten to stay in one, but that's okay. Look, I can see in there a little. Ooh, so exciting! Because I'm weird. What I'll do is I'll step over here and I'll do like, like a shot. So there we go. Leaving my room. It's almost 10. What a lovely looking morning. I can see the, the sky up there. Not very blue from over here. And this side over here. We all made it over to the convention hall. This is just the one side. I'm not sure if I'm going to brave that. I think I might see if I can find a donut before the place closes. But I just wanted everybody to see. Yeah. Not even. I can't imagine what the front looks like. That's the other hall. Oh, Holy cow. Oh no, I never do this. I totally bought this game. I didn't know they were gonna be here. Oh, more about that later. to give you an idea. Just rows and rows and rows. So many things you can buy. Got my ring from them. Yeah. I'm on the back half of the room right now. Just wow.
I went through most of my coupon things. Some worked out well, some uh, not so much. But uh, it was good, it was good. So now to, to go back to the room, maybe find a little bit of food. Yeah. <laughs> you know you forgot something when you made one of these. But uh, yeah, these are chopsticks. Not the first time I've used my pens to uh, make shifts. So. Mm. Not quite enough yet. I'm going to have some beef jerky to sort of offset it before my shift in a couple of hours. So yeah, I spent right around two and a half hours just walking the dealer's room, standing and walking. And uh, found some freebie stuff and I'm hoping to make a little pile of that and then also maybe some of the free things I got last year and maybe make a little giveaway because I haven't done that yet and I thought that would be kind of cute and then I found some stuff for me I, I really I almost never buy something at this con Gen Con is more like I'll find a thing here or there like uh, oh, I took my ring off like um, when I passed by the crit success I got my spinner ring from them uh, well it's a life counter ring not exactly the same. So, or, uh, who else? Who else is always here? Um, the Wise Brothers? Uh, the, the, the Boss Monster people. They're here every year, and so I make it a point to get something from them. Uh, other than that, oh, and, of course, Midnight Syndicate, because I have loved Midnight Syndicate for probably almost ten years now. So... So I bought uh, one that I didn't have, and of course we chatted up a bit. I'll be seeing uh, him for, for Halloween weekend, so. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, so that was all fine and good. And I had made it a point to, uh, so I picked up the next boss monster. No problems there. And the only place that I had a problem with, my card, was when I was trying to buy some uh, cheap magic sleeves, which worked out because I found another vendor that had them for slightly cheaper. And I feel bad, but I don't want to spend a lot of money on the magic cards. The magic cards I'm completely casual with. So, picked up some of those, so I'll be able to make four something decks, which is, which is great. That's at the 60 card, because they only give you 50. <sighs> okay, that's something else I'll take other. Uh, so, those I kind of planned for. What I didn't plan for was running into the gaming company that made Vitlinus. I just this week saw a video online of somebody playing it, and I fell in love with that game. So the fact that they had it here at the convention, and reasonably priced, especially considering they said uh, a lot of places, like real places, uh, storefronts, had stolen, sold out. On top of that, you got a free pin that says Villainous, and it's Maleficent! <laughs> Maleficent's one of my favorite villains. I can't help it. And since I'm like totally on a really bad Disney kick right now, which is weird, because that almost never happens to me, I was like, okay, temporary game, or temporary, temporary chance of not getting the game, and I already like it. I know how it plays. Uh, it The components just, or mechanics look really great. The pieces looked really great, and I'm going to have somebody at home play it, or I'm just going to take it to the next few conventions with me. It's one of the biggest game boxes, though, out of the games that I have. I try not to go too big with my games, because they're harder to take. Which, there was one game I was looking at, and I was like, man, that sounds like a cool game, and it's just, like pocket size, doesn't take up a lot of space. I don't know. We'll have to see how the rest of this weekend goes. Mm. Ah, broth. 
It's a chicken chipotle, which apparently you can only get at like one place in my city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about the quality too. I've got the thing turned around and uh, it's at least letting me record a little bit longer. That's kind of nice. So quality over time. I'm just hanging out right now. It's uh, a little after, I don't know, most normal people's lunch. Uh, um, I'm trying to think. Oh, and I did spend money buying a play mat. To be fair, the only time, uh, the the biggest times that I pull out a play mat is to play magic, usually with my brother. But if anybody's willing to play casual, I will play. But this play mat was super cheap, and also for left-handed people. And I'm like, whoa, okay. Maybe I'll actually put my stuff on the board where it should go, because when I first learned to play back in 98-ish, we always put the lands at the top and everything else at the bottom, and it got into that habit. So I like that it's got, tells you where everything goes, but it's also made for left-handed person, because... <sighs> it was worth it for the price, though. Not as great as my free one, but mm, now I've got three mats, but only one of them is just an image. The other one's for Boss Monster, and then one for Magic, so. Eh, eh. Worth, worth it for the price. Got some free dice. Oh, the pretty dice that I bought. Okay, another thing I don't usually spend, like, a lot of money on is dice. I'll pick up a set here or there, but... They had, uh, they had an opaline set, and as long as I don't make them crash into each other, because it, I didn't get the embossed version, uh, they should be fine, but they're so pretty, and they remind me of what I would call Moonstone, so I keep using the wrong name, and, uh, yeah, 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 but there's so pretty. Uh, I will either put it at the end of this video or do a separate video of all the videos of uh, all the videos <sighs> of all the stuff the things that I got I've gotten a ton of compliments on my hat which is fabulous of course I didn't make my hat so <laughs> at least people are noticing me <laughs> please please notice me senpai <laughs> I would never say that. Mm, no. But that wasn't a thing when I was in high school. Oh, and the key cards. Mm. Had some trouble with some key cards because uh, you cannot apparently put them in your wallet. You can't put them near any credit cards. You can't put them near any sort of magnetic stuff. The magnetic stuff I get. The credit cards I do not. <laughs> so, so far, now it's holding up. Now that I figured that out. You can't see right now. Maybe if I lift it up a little more. Yeah, I'm wearing my volunteer pin, and, and I decided to go with glowing Mickey because if I get it in the sun long enough, it might glow while I'm in the dungeon. How cool would that be? I don't know. I'm kind of jorky. And chatty. I'm so chatty. Yeah. Sitting here by myself, talking to myself, technically. But that's okay. That's okay. Looking over at my free bag with my stuff in it. Which, that bag turned out to be super handy. Because the bag that I brought with me is nicer, kind of. Because it's, like, material. So, uh, debatable on the actual nicer part. But it's smaller. I don't think I could have fit all the stuff in there. Because one big, good size game box. Anything else right now? No. I hope you liked the part of me sort of walking in there. It would take far too long for me to try and find a good spot to actually walk through the middle. It's not really possible, at least unless you wanted me to spend 10 minutes doing it. And, uh, not, no, no, no. I'll show the edge. Yeah. The room is huge and it's, and it got bigger, I don't know, about five years ago? Like again. Apparently, it was about 
nine something minutes before <laughs> before it got out. I should probably trim it. Mm. We'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling when I get home. So much to do. I have some badges to create. I'm actually really excited about it. <laughs> and excuse me, because uh, whenever I have anything, it makes my nose run. I'm sure some of you know. I didn't do it. It wasn't me. It was a one-armed man. No, ma'am. Uh, I was gonna say one more thing, and now I forgot it again. about that. Talked about I think all the things. I was talking about the key cards last, wasn't I? <laughs> no, I think that I think that's about it. Yeah. So going to finish this. I have uh, at least an hour to sort of just relax, recover my feet some, decide which of the two pairs of shoes that I brought that I want to wear. And I'm sorry if you could see this little funky thing going on right here. Um, I'm actually experiencing hat hair because I put on my gel, which this is not as good as my old stuff, which makes me sad. Um, I'm going to put that back on though, so nobody's going to actually see it while I'm there. Yeah. Looks, it looks pretty good otherwise. Yeah. And it's so soft back here. I think that's because of the right. I threw a conditioner on. I haven't been using it as much with the shorter hair because they say not to really put it on your roots. That's what they say. That's the instructions I've been following. So it's kind of nice. Like it's got this little whoosh going on over here. I don't even think you guys can see that. Now I'm rambling. Mm. But we're only on Thursday so I still have the rest of today, Friday, Saturday, and part of Sunday. At least the evening part, I'm just going to be hanging out with a friend of mine. Maybe doing some more video stuff. I don't know. I, won't, I want to get permission from him first if I do anything. <sighs> yeah. If I had a better setup, be like, I'm going to set it up and be like, look at all this stuff. But maybe someday. Maybe somebody will. Be, take pity on me and be like, here, have a nice thing. Be like, I will use it. I will use it a lot. <laughs> I love hate relationship with porn. Especially when it was free dry freeze dried. Hmm. Okay. I have gone on for far long enough, and I hope I haven't lost everybody here in the middle. I'm sure the setup is all weird. Uh, this window behind me actually doesn't have a view because the way that the hotel is set up, uh, ha half or more of the windows are actually looking into the terrace. Is that what they call it? Like the middle area, but uh, I have a wall. Like, I can see, like, off the sides, but the middle is a wall, which is fine. My my only complaint is I forgot how loud it is when the trains go by. And the trains didn't really go by that much until, like, midnight and on. So, like, every couple of hours, I'm like, oh, I'm awake. Can't I just go to sleep? The troubles about being a light sleeper, I tell you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now that I've gone completely, like, everywhere, uh, I'll try to, uh, I don't know, what else can I get a video of? Mm -hmm. If I get around to, I don't know, because I, I never get around to panel stuff and events usually cost money or you have to get stuff ahead of time. 
Uh, that's one of the few things that I've never really kind of figured out. My friend showed me at one point how the whole process works, and I went, no, no, oh gosh, it's frightening. <laughs> it was particularly for True Dungeon tickets, but that's, uh, that's where I draw my crazy line, which is probably not a good place to draw it, but I'm still having fun. I've still got lots to do, and hopefully um, one of my roommates has some night shifts coming up, so during the day we could actually like do something so yeah I'm gonna figure out where their person was well, it's not the first time it's happened oh no I don't know how I did that um I kind of hope the camera got it. I think somehow it went up my nose. I'm in a massive amount of like spice pain right here behind my eye. Okay, fabulous. It's still a good day. It's still a good day. It's still a good day. Not so much with spinners, but eh, I did enter a few of the drawings, so. Maybe one of those will pan out. Be cool. If it's the magic one, though, I think I'll have to give it to my brother. Okay. More when I can remember what to do. That moment where you want to go to sleep, but you only have like 20 minutes before you have to get going. Yeah, don't get me wrong, I'm excited, but I'm also tired. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's, it's like uh, contemplating, you know, you're just staring at the interesting pattern above you, letting your mind wander. Which is good, because I think I've had a lot on it lately, between getting ready for this con and uh, my one fun day next week, and then Halloween weekend's coming up next month. So, just trying to get everything in order, so, so I suppose that I can breathe easy. Yeah. So do I stay here or do I get up and move? Hmm. Oh, and my feet hurt some. I get to stand on them for eight hours. I really need to take morning shifts next year. Yeah. And then do whatever shopping-y stuff the last day. I think that might be better. I know that I would spend the less. But to be fair, I really didn't spend a lot, especially compared to my friends who I know spend a lot. But that's cool. So it just opened. As you can see, people aren't quite moving yet, though. We're at the very end. Oh, I think I to go down Making some more so yeah, what did I do today? Went back to the deals room, and that was, oh that's fabulous, okay, I think that's uh, it's good, it's good. So, and then after that, because I had to leave my friend, I went and uh, did another run! Super, super excited. And what's funny is they're like, well, what do you want to play? I was like, well, I usually play a horror. And they're like, yeah, sure, it's fine. But we'll just outfit you. It's like, I know you people. I'm okay with it. I mean, they're going to have at least some better stuff than, than mine. Like, that's cool. So they did something different with the badges and the scanning and the what hey. And so then we... Everybody gets a little bag of 10. It's like, alright, cool. My r bread was 
Yeah, so it's okay. I probably won't ever use it because my necklace slot. And then I'm just going through it, and this popped up. And I know that's going to be super hard to see, but it's uh, purple. And these only very rarely pop up in a 10-pack bag. And not only that, but it's actually one that I wanted. I was like, J what? J and then I didn't say anything, and then I went, I just got a purple. Because it's, it's so rare that that happens. It's, uh, something on it. So it does, it does its thing. So, feeling, feeling good, feeling lucky. So we start going through the dungeon. This is uh, this is the second part, the part that I wanted to go so I can watch them in order. And fighting, fighting went pretty well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, did some singing. Oh wait, the first room. Yeah, the first room I had to do something, and I'm like, can I do it? And in the first time I did it, it was. Eh. So I, I had to do it again. I'm like, okay. So I did it again with a different approach. And they're like, yep, that's what we wanted. I'm like, okay, good. Hope I hope I didn't do anything to myself that I'll regret later. I don't want to say anything because it's, you know, no spoilers. No spoilers. But uh, anyone that's run N2 in that first room, you know what I mean. So after that, things went pretty smoothly until the middle and uh, I just sometimes you you wonder if you get picked on because you're friends with some of the people that are now your DM <laughs> but then it then it picked up again and I had a great job a great time in one of the fights because of the songs that I chose <laughs> that was that was super fun and, uh, yeah, then when we got to the end, it was, uh, it's also fun. It's fun. I got, I didn't even get down that low on hit points because, like, they kept saying, well, how much are you down? I'm like, this amount. And they'll be like, eh, heal. I'm like, oh, okay. Because, uh, because I only went in with 40 hit points, and I think even with my build, I'm at 42. So, mm, yeah, mm, yeah. I'm not complaining. It was still a blast. That was that was the most fun. By the way, the people that I ran with, they strictly do like hardcore and up. Not hardcore. Nightmare. The next step up and up. And so this will be my third Nightmare game? I think. It's either my third or my fourth. And I would definitely say probably my favorite just because we all had a really good time. And uh, some of the volunteers also had a really good time. <laughs> I do love it when monsters dance when I sing at them. <laughs> oh. So then I earned it. I earned it. So excited. So excited. So because because it was nightmare, I did get both the things for that one, which is fantastic. Though. Both have negatives to stats that I like, so I don't I don't think I'll be using them unless I can find something else to boost that the stat that goes down back up. So and then I have my my treasure tokens, which I still need to go and trade in. I was thinking, um, maybe when I go back down there I'll make another run around and see who's down there. Uh let's see here. What else? No, that was that was really the big thing. I, I thought it would be longer to talk about it, but super excited we were. We were very excited. So, yeah. <laughs> I know I shouldn't, but but I should. It was it was exactly what I wanted to do this weekend. If I if for some bizarre reason I also get to do N three, which I don't think will happen. Uh, I will be eternally grateful to, uh, you know, run upstairs. So, but I, I'm not, I'm not going to hold my breath. Not for that kind of luck. I can, I can hopefully attempt to do it, um, next year before it's gone. But, very, very happy. Very happy. And, uh, 
Yeah, but was able to pick up a few more freebies to add to the hopeful giveaway at the end of this video that I remember to come up with, I hope. <laughs> yeah, I need to actually um, eat now. Yeah, because, because yeah, I've got like a little over an hour before I have to get moving. Yeah, time goes fast. It's cool. Like the hat. I've gotten like 15 capliments in my hat. It's a mighty fine hat. Mm -hmm. Then they're surprised when I tell them where I got it. Okay, enough, enough. More later. I'll try to get a little bit more video out there, but it, if not, I mean, I hope you guys are enjoying my stories. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm going to do my best to talk. Uh, I don't want to be too long or too short. A lot happened yesterday, in a good way. And <laughs> I'm just really tired my back hurts so I'm actually trying to get a bit more comfortable and I'm on not a lot of sleep which happens you know when at the end of your shift they're like so do you want to stay tonight and get those those last hour in last few hours in or do you want to do it tomorrow and I'm like I'm gonna do it tonight I am already a night person. I will power through it. Nom, 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 nom. Breakfast of champions. Already before that point, I was starting to lose my voice. And it's not gone yet, but it really is tired. I can't go up very well. And this happens from overuse and I didn't get as much hydration as I wanted uh, near the end of the night because of tearing down process a little bit different than everything else <sighs> so I did that and I actually had a lot of fun doing that at night Except the darkness. It took them a long time to get the lights on. Uh, I don't know whose communication ladder they had to go up for that. <laughs> but, uh, got to do a lot of sorting. Trying to make uh, the coaching area more easily accessible to the coaches. That was actually, that was a lot of fun. But I like the box organization. Very Tetris. Huh. So, yesterday was the first day that I was coach assist. And training is still my favorite thing to do. Because I love helping people, especially if they're new. But I did also like coach assist because it was a lot of back and forth moving around and getting to just chit chat with the players and help them set up if they were brand new because you don't have a lot of tokens when you start but that's okay because it's all about the experience not the tokens the tokens are nice bonus though um i got my pulls done and uh got more monster bits I, I didn't think I had enough for a second set, and then I looked and I forgot that I already had most of a first set. So, I have I have a second set. And then I have a couple of, well, I'm one short for a second set, and I'm going to trade for that today, hopefully. And maybe get rid of a couple tokens that I don't need. And I know one, somebody's going to want. <laughs> mm. oh. And today, I... More interested in not trading. <laughs> but that's something else altogether. So I helped out. That was a lot of fun. And uh, got back to the room at 3 a.m. <laughs> Passed out after 3.30. Sometime. I'm pretty sure I got five hours of solid sleep. No, that, that wouldn't even be possible. I laid down for five-ish hours. Maybe three to four hours of just solid sleep, though. So I'm 
actually feel fantastic and it's only a little after 10. I've been up since like 8.30. Got a nice shower. My hair's doing a thing again, but I'm going to put the hat on. Roughly about 18 compliments on the hat. I didn't take like an official tally or anything, so I just sort of tried, tried to keep a number in my head. It looks like I have lipstick on in this video. It's kind of funny. Uh, trying to think. That was really the big stuff, and of course I went back to the dealer's room and picked up a couple things that I was uh, in need of that was sold out the previous day. Um, like the Boss Monster pin. I really, really, like, that is probably one of the most detail-oriented pins that doesn't look like a mess that I've ever seen. So kudos on whoever designed that. And I got a really cheap mat that is very pretty. Um, a little less clothing than I'd like on my characters, but the colors, the overall aesthetic, it has dragons. I was sold for the for five dollars. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Fabulous. Mm. Trying to think of anything else. Oh, yes there is. One more thing I wanted to add before I close this part of the video out. Uh, one of my roommates and I had a little extra time because I didn't have any runs yesterday. And we set up Villainous. Disney's Villainous, which just came out and everybody's talking about it. There's a good reason for that. It's a fun game. It took us a lot longer than I expected to play. It took us like an hour and a half, just the two of us. Um, and oddly enough, like she was on her way to winning and then I got the card I needed and I won the next turn. Could, and cause she couldn't stop me. <laughs> I couldn't stop me. <laughs> But I picked Ursula because she was the only one that they didn't show on the Geek and Sundry video that I watched. And I was like, I have to at least see how she plays. And hers is the most interesting uh, realm mechanic because her lock toggles. And I thought that was really cool, though. It got real interesting once she kept fading me, and so I had the whole top basically uh, just filled with characters, and I could only make two moves. Two actions, I should say. <laughs> so I'm like, well, I can do this and this. Okay, I'll go over here. I can do this and this. All right, what, what do I need left to do? And the the first part of the objective, which is to get uh, King Triton's uh, trident, uh, that sort of fell in my lap. Because I had the trident in my hand and she put King Triton on the table. I was like, yep, that's going to be easy. The crown, on the other hand, was literally the last card in my deck. <laughs> I was like, oh, look at this. I'm going to play that. Wait around for next turn. Yep. All right. Cool. So it was it was super fun. We both had a great time, and a couple people stopped by and asked us what we were playing. Um, the dealer's room did sell out like completely uh, yesterday, so it's a little sad. But you don't know how popular a game's gonna be. And another friend came up to me later. He's like, "They sold out. I'm going to hate you forever." Because they sold out and you hyped up this game. I'm like, dude, I'm sorry. I didn't know how many they're going to have. <sighs> we're just joking. I mean, if you couldn't tell from my funny voice. But. I'm like halfway done. No, I'm a little more than halfway. Mostly, mostly soup bits now. But, so that was yesterday. And it was... It was so much fun. It really, it really was. I had one group um, that I was getting cards and clips and stuff for, and 
taking trash and asking questions if they needed anything. They're like, yeah, we need some more players. Do you want to come and be our cleric? And I was like, one, if I had the money, yes. I would be like, hey guys, can I, can I get a temp out here? I'm going to go run. <laughs> I mean, only if it was approved, of course. But I was just like, I've never played a cleric before. I kind of want to play a cleric just to say that I did. And it sounded like a lot of fun. And I already at least knew what was coming because it was the same one that I've been on all weekend. But, uh, yeah. So that was that was a cool thought. I was like, man, I could totally probably play a cleric <laughs> and not, uh, not have any problems. But, yeah, it is what it is. And I, I hope that they did well. I hope everybody had a good time. Or, they, I mean, as much as they could. I had a good time. I always have a good time, though. I mean, it'd have to be... I don't even know how bad it'd have to be to be not a good time. <laughs> Between hanging out with people and working and getting to do a run and that opportunity to buy stuff that I don't normally see when I'm at home. I don't know. I... I hope that I can carry this out for at least a couple weeks because I feel motivated. Why? Why did somebody call here? Nobody ever calls the room. That was frightening. Oh, I guess that was great that we got it on tape. I'll probably leave it in just because um, genuine, genuine surprise. <laughs> okay. I'll try to do like maybe an overall thing. Um, there's not really much for us to do today, uh, so uh, maybe if I get a chance to later tonight I'll say something. If not, then when I get home tomorrow I'll do like an overall, maybe show everything that I got, etc, etc, and then giveaway and stuff. So I, I hope you guys are enjoying this probably super long video at this point. <laughs> okay, so as you can see I've made a lovely display of all of the goodies minus the true dungeon stuff because I always like to, or I should say it just always sorts of ends up being separated. I'm going to try and do some overall stuff. Now as you can see there's there's a lot of stuff here but a lot of it's like flat stuff and uh, a lot of the flat stuff. Uh, oh, I think the rain is starting. Yeah, that is just getting windy. Uh, we might have some weather coming in. Ooh. Um, I got, like, freebies. And as I mentioned earlier, I'm still planning on doing a giveaway. We'll get to that, though. Um, I guess we'll start over here, maybe? So I managed to get all of the Pathfinder pins... That's the first time out of all these years that I've been able to do it. And it probably will never happen again, which is fine. Um, I found this on the floor when I was cleaning up. It's like, okay, cool. Uh, some dude that came through the training gave me that. I was like, cool. Uh, that's actually a magnet. It's like, oh, all right. This was a freebie. This was a freebie. Um, these are, oh, that's definitely rain. Um, these were all stuff that I picked up, cards. This one's really cool, though. Um, cause it's a place that prints stuff and I have my eye on them. I wanted to maybe get some art printed on card like things. Um, this also came in this cool little pouch, which I'm going to end up using. Put some Tolkien stuff in. Uh, that's a card. These were freebies. That's a freebie, which also came with this, uh, card. Bought the pin set. It actually has 16, 17, and 18, which is great. I kind of wish I knew that that was a thing because I would have started collecting sooner. Do do obviously, there's my Jurassic Park game with my sweet die. Get some good light on this. This actually says limited edition amber die. And there's stuff in it. Look at that. I mean, it's not as cool as like a, uh, like a, Mosquito, but there's definitely stuff in there. So, super cool. That I got for free. He actually slapped it on me. I was like, that's cool. Um, of course, my villainous 
the cool Pin Bazaar Villainous pin. They did, as far as I know, uh, sell out of that. Uh, the freebie bag, which uh, I f got that one after somebody had abandoned it. This shirt has a whole other story, which I think might be earlier in the video. I'm not 100% sure. Um, that's the front. The back says, uh, of course, the uh, <sighs> victory or death. That's what it is. Um, and I love it. I love it so much. Thank you, Dave. <laughs> then uh, Boss Monster. I ended up getting a second sticker because um, I made two separate purchases that they're both... I got this, and then later I got the pin because they had sold out on uh, both days. Oops. Knocking stuff over now. Uh, I just want to get down. Hang big groovy. So, there's that. Let me get some better light. It looks... Come on. There we go. It's one of the coolest looking pins that I've ever seen with that much detail. This is a uh, three. This is the freebie. Yeah, I know, I hear it. <laughs> um, yet another Midnight Syndicate. Uh, if you like uh, Halloween slash uh, creepy slash just really great ambience music, check out their stuff. I love them. Uh, some of their coin because my friend is awesome. Uh, my Opalite dice, which are fantastic. Uh, free print for a, a game, which the game looked pretty cool, but at that point I was already like, I'm running at the end of my, uh, my limit here. Uh, free poster, which is on really nice paper, and then it's got a whole bunch about that game or system or something. My uh, free die. This one goes to that booth and then this is the Gen Con one. Uh, lanyard. Pickle Rick. Uh, my Rick and Morty books. Um, these I got free because I made a purchase at the booth and I had my coupon. Some more uh, freebie stuff. Uh, back here. This bag was free, which was awesome, and surprise, these she, um, sleeves uh, came free in it. This tube, I bought that separately. Then the thing in the tube is a left-handed magic player mat, because I needed help, so left-handed player mat, uh, magic mat. Um, I did get that also with a coupon, so I got a little bit cheaper. This one, which is lovely, came from a different booth, and they had $5 mats. I was like, Ugh. So I spent forever, like at least two minutes, just staring at all the different mats, making sure I picked out one I really liked. And, yeah, it ended up being that one, oddly enough, which is the one that was actually covered up on the wall. Then I got a bunch of 50 sleeves, a lot of these are probably actually going to go to Villainous until I can get clear sleeves. Yeah. Uh, yes. And uh, this, this is also really cool. It's for um, uh, just carrying cards and stuff. And I thought that was pretty cool. So, as you can see, quite a bit of stuff. But a lot of freebies. I will now sort through that figure out what is for the contest. Oh, what am I doing to myself? I don't know, but yeah. Okay. This took a little doing, you know, as one does when you try to reorganize things. So here's what all I'll be doing in the giveaway. So uh, unfortunately, this will be for the US only because uh, shipping would be ridiculous outside of the states. Maybe if I get, you know, enough to actually start making money on YouTube, that might change. But for right now, I have to leave it to the U.S. So, uh, you know, I included map, I included one of the coins, uh, a little 
person-y thing, uh, uh, this die from this year, and then some regular random die and a die from a different con. Uh, some old Gen Con Pathfinder buttons here, and then another button here, uh, a full set of dice that I picked up some time ago, and then some other things, including the buttons from this year and the slap bracelet and some tokeny things and some cards and flyers and stuff all right cool so what i will do is i think i'm going to have people leave comments and then i will try and figure out something from there which i will hopefully include in the description so thank you so much for watching this whole video about gen con and all the fun and random stuff that I've been doing <laughs> this whole weekend. I hope that you liked it. If so, I will try to do more of these when I'm able. Convention getting to is has been challenging, but uh, you know, a new year will be coming soon enough. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. I would really appreciate it, and uh, especially the comments because I really like talking to people. Uh, so yes, thank you so much. Uh, bye!